The RHS ambassadors have all been chosen to champion particular areas of horticulture that they're really passionate about. And today, here at RHS Garden, Harlow Carr in Yorkshire, I'm talking to one of them, Nigel Dunnett. Nigel is Professor of Planting Design and Urban Horticulture at the University of Sheffield, and he's most well known for his innovative, ecological and sustainable designs, most notably at the London Olympic Park. He is also the RHS ambassador for our Green in Great Britain campaign. Nigel, as an ambassador, what's the one thing that you really hope that you can help achieve? Well, I think it's part of a bigger picture of trying to get as many people enthusiastic, inspired and interested in growing plants and gardens as possible. Opening up eyes to all the fantastic opportunities there are, even in places where you think there's no chance of growing plants. Introduce the idea of gardens and gardening and greening into our urban environments, our new developments outside of the garden as well as in the garden. But this is part of the challenge, isn't it? You mentioned about attracting new people to consider uh, their outdoor space, but it's working with uh, people who may not have gardened before or garden people who've been gardening for many years. I think there are two elements to this. There's looking at the exciting possibilities, but also making it something which isn't too scary and frightening to do. Yeah. So, so many people, I think, think about gardens, plants as a burden rather than something which is enjoyable to have. So, so how, do, how do we, as an industry, or you as an academic, or as a writer, or as a designer, how do you get that message across to people? But the Green and Grey Britain campaign is really trying to, yes, of course, make places beautiful, but also to think more about all the other environmental benefits that plants bring. But I think very often, when we talk about um, environmental benefits, that's the main thing, and it can look very, very dull and very uninteresting. So I think one of the big things, maybe the biggest thing I want to do, is to turn that around and say, well, actually, you can do all of this, but it can be the most beautiful thing, the most interesting thing that you can have, and it doesn't need to be something which you need to be scared of. Some of the key areas which are being looked at for Green in Great Britain really is a front garden, especially with the amount of flooding we're seeing and the depreciation of house values if you've got a road of concrete over front gardens. Where do you think we should be looking our attention to on that? Well, I think we do have to be realistic here and say, well, people do need to park their cars yep. in the front gardens, yep. people do need to put their bins out, and all these things which can often be seen as well, that's the main priority here. What we really need to do as part of the Greening Great Britain campaign is to make these things achievable. It needs to look good, it needs to be something people want to have, but it also needs to be achievable and simple. And this must also link into the work that you've done as a designer of the Chelsea Flower Show, and that must have been a great opportunity for you to get across these messages. Well, the Chelsea Gardens are, have been a way for me to be quite experimental um, in bringing lots of these ideas together, but again it comes back to my fundamental principle really that these things need to look good and interesting and engaging and also achievable. I've deliberately tried to make them open and transparent so that rather than it being a flight of fancy that you know you'd have to have millions of pounds to ever achieve, they can be taken home and rebuilt or redone in a similar sort of way. It sounds like the time is right if the planners and policy makers and, and politicians are actually saying climate change and these issues are real, um, then you're saying actually the time is now. The time is now we have to jump up and say look we we, are, we have part of the solution. These are not new ideas. The, the, the yeah. values and the benefits of planting and plants and vegetation and nature are well known. They just haven't been properly applied on a big scale. It means that our gardens will look different, our streets might start to look different, but I think, again, if we are going to be serious about the challenges of climate change and increasing population densities yeah. and all these things, then we do have to grasp it. And I think the Green in Great Britain campaign and the ambassador role is a chance to really explore those ideas and to promote them and to champion good practice. Well, Nigel, both in your role in your professional life but also as your ambassador, the very best of luck. Thank you. Like Nigel, all RHS ambassadors are passionate about people getting into horticulture and getting into their plants and gardens. And if you'd like to find out more about the work of the ambassadors or the RHS in general, visit our website at rhs.org.uk.